Howdy. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Say no more. I'm in. Just like that. I have a feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another. So I might as well get it over with. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. I'll be waiting. Howdy. Thank you. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Be careful out there. Howdy, partner. Trouble with rustlers, huh? Count me in, partner. Those varmints will be running home with their tails between their legs soon enough. Happy trails!
Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. You take care now. Howdy. Bad trouble. Welcome. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. Yep. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. I had to make sure of your disposition. There's a lot of jumpy folks out there that'll shoot a man as soon as talk to him. Now that we're conversing, though, I can tell you what I know about those caps. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. all over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and Blue Star caps are no exception. It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the Blue Star Caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. 
Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Huh? You want to talk some more? There's not much more to tell. Get enough stars and the treasure's yours. Just watch out for some of the other people collecting them. Oh, that's right. Here, let me show you what I've got on hand. Huh? You want to talk some more? If you say so, maybe we'll meet again. You looking to buy some supplies? If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Look, you're bringing this on yourselves. There's no way I'm getting involved. But hey, I'm sure you can buy what you need. Take it easy now. You looking to buy some supplies? This again? Like I said, I'm against taking on the Powder Gangers. My supplies aren't cheap, you know. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And, uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Take it easy now. <laughs> 